What's up guys? Welcome back to Unguided. It's uh, September the 4th today, uh, which is good news because in 11 days I'm blasting off and going back west again. Uh, this year we're going to be going out and hunting elk in backcountry Montana. Uh, it's been like 10 years since I've hunted elk before, so I'm real excited about it. Uh, Slayton's got a tag. I don't actually have a tag, but uh, Slayton from last year's mule deer hunt video has one. I'm going to fly out and meet up with him and Scotty. And we're going deep in the backcountry. So since we're going deep in the backcountry, um, where we've hunted before, there hasn't really been a threat of bears or mountain lions or anything like that when we've hunted for deer. And when I'm doing that, I'm usually carrying a 300 Win Mag. So when you're carrying a 300 Win Mag, you're not too worried about you know having any other kind of protection. But this year we're going to be doing archery. We're going to be hunting elk. And if we are successful, there's a chance we're going to be packing an elk out from way deep. We're going to be doing full spike camp. The truck won't be anywhere near. Got to carry everything with us on our backs and we're going deep, deep into the wilderness. So I wanted to have, I wanted to carry a sidearm just for protection out there, uh, especially packing out big quantities of meat over a large area. So I've been looking into this for a while and I had an old Sitka bio harness and I used to put my my Glock 40 down or my G43 down in there and I didn't you can't really get to it and access it too well so I've really went down the rabbit hole lately looking for uh, a bio harness holster or an add-on that you can do to your bio harness so you can have a pistol on you all the time um, you can some people put it on their packs uh, a lot of time though when you're in doing a stalk you take your pack off and you might not have it with you on all times but what do you have on you all the time your bio harness so i've been looking at it a lot and i found this company called rasco out of montana and they do custom holsters and i got this one done for my g4 g23 um it's a glock 40 and it fits in there just like that and so you can leave one in the chamber and you have it your trigger guard's covered and everything, and it's going to be locked in tight. And really just overall a great low-profile holster you can use, and you can add it on. They make they make a kit that you can add it on. I'm going to be doing this QEU Pro bio harness today. Um, they make them for all different kinds of bio harnesses, all different kinds of firearms, so you can mix and match. If you go to their website, you can check it out. Um, and they also, what they'll do is send you a kit with a nail, what you're going to do basically is burn a hole in the back of your bio harness and put a snap there so it'll just snap right in and it'll be right here on your belly. So I got the kit here and they send you a nail that's the right size and all you're going to do basically is heat it up. I've already pre-marked where I think my holes need to be. It's one of those things you need to measure twice and cut once. That's a good saying for this sort of thing because once this is hot and it burns through, that's where your hole is going to be. So you want to make sure you have your hole in the right spot. Um, but let's uh, jump right into it, go ahead and burn these holes and see how this thing goes. I'd recommend using some vice grips just like this to hold the nail. You don't want to drop it. You want to be able to put that hole right where you want it. I'm going to heat this up, get it red hot. Definitely want to do this in a ventilated area. From what I've read about it, it will smoke pretty good. Got a hot. And just like that. Oh, wow. Well, that was pretty easy right there. Got it hot and it burned right through. So now we've got our two holes in the back of our bio harness here. Set that off to the side. See, look like a pretty clean through there. So in the kit, they send the snaps. So basically it's just three parts to each one. You got the screw that holds it in. There's the backing. This is the backing piece right there. So basically, if I understand this correctly, the backing will go through this hole. Okay, there's one through. That was kind of a little more difficult than I was expecting, but there's just a little bit of burnt plastic getting in the way. Okay, 
Now that we have those through, our backings are through, so then the snap goes on the outside like so, and then your screw would basically there's your backing, and that's got your thread in it. Once that goes on there, the screw goes right on top of that and into the backing. So once that goes, got that all together there, just screw that down. Tight there. Okay, there's one. Now we're going to drop the second one on there. Okay, so there you have it. There's two snaps now right here. You have to adjust these a little bit, turn them in, but these snaps should go right into this right here. Okay, there's one snapped in. Let's get the other one. What's good about this, if you want to take the harness off, or if you want to take the holster off, you just pop it right off and then you're back to your normal bio harness setup. Okay. Second one snapped in. Now your bio harness is attached to your holster, just like so. They also send you a nice little belt that'll keep it tight around you. We'll snap that in. Okay, so we've got our bio harness, got our holster here. Slides in just like that carried right on your belly. Small, not in your way, don't have one on your hip, don't have it on your pack, don't have it, you don't have to dig it out from behind here. So you got your binos ready to go and at all times can just draw straight out. So really like this design. Uh, I guess the next thing to do is uh, shoot out of it. So let's see what happens there. So I got it loaded here, good to go. Just get an overall feel for it, how from reaching here, it's a good place to grab from. Um, it draws very smoothly. It's a good hard case. I like that with holsters, especially if you're carrying a Glock with one in the chamber, the only safety is on the trigger. All Glock guys know that. So I like to have a hard body around that trigger every single time. But anyway, so let's give it a run. Smooth, I like it. Oh, that was fun, I'm gonna do that again. It draws easily. And that's what you want in that situation. Sweet. I like it a lot. Well done by Rasco. As far as this sort of thing goes, this is like what I've been looking in this for a while and this really does seem like the best option out there. Um, small, easy to get to, robust, not going to come off. Uh, just an awesome product. So I'll be heading to Montana in 11 days and I'll be glad to have this on me. So shout out to Rasco for making awesome products and uh, yeah. We'll see how things go. Y'all stay tuned. Uh, I got Louisiana videos coming out pretty soon. Um, went down there at the end of a kind of our end of our fishing season a little bit. We had a pretty good trip down to Louisiana. I'm still working on that. Um, that should be coming out soon. So y'all be on the lookout for that. Uh, and then we got my elk camp. You know, we're going to be doing some some pretty serious stuff. We're going to be going in. We're packing everything in on our backs, like I said earlier, and hiking in looking like 20 to 30 miles and we're going to be what we're doing is called spike camp and we're just basically going to pop up a tv and be sleeping on the ground and hopefully that's where the elk are if they're anywhere near we're going to try to get on them and get one down and i'll i think i should be able to keep the cameras running about four or five days without having to come back to power but if we have to do that we'll come charge the cameras and we'll go back in there 
Um, but anyway, really excited about what's coming out this fall. We got deer season coming right behind it. It's shaping up to be another excellent deer season down here in Georgia. And yeah, just a lot of good content coming out, coming soon. And uh, y'all stay tuned and thank you for watching Unguided.